Today we're going to talk about uh, when sheep become lions. When sheep become lions. I'm going to give the sisters a break today. <clears throat> I tell them marriage class has been, it's been raising a ruckus. Raising a ruckus. Women walking out the house now, men leaving. What the hell is going on? The classes were not meant for that to happen, but meant for you to examine yourselves and work together, husband and wife, not up and leave. So I just let me just take a break off that for a little bit before there no, be, be nobody up in here. So I'm going to just be quiet on that for a moment. All right. But, but I want I want everybody. I said this last week in the class. I want everybody to remember that we live in a present time. We live in the present, and living in the present, sisters, means letting go of the past that hurts you. I'm just gonna I gotta, I gotta say something to them. I can't let them get away. If you live in the present, you gotta let go of the past that has caused you hurt and pain because your past your past can hinder your future. If you hold on to it, give me that in uh, Philippians 3.13. I was reading something that said some women drive a car looking in the rearview mirror. You know what that means? You're going to crash. They do that thing. I thought it was funny when I read that. I guess I'm the only one. But read that. Philippians 3.13. Philippians chapter 3, verse 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. You hear that, sister? Sisters, forgetting those things which are behind. Meaning the things you did in the past, forget about it. Forget about it. Go ahead. And reaching forth unto those things which are before. And reaching forth unto those things which are before. Brother said him and his wife, they cannot have a, 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 a good marriage. I said, why not, brother? He says, uh, well... Well, the, you know, I'll, I'll continue with that story. He says because she's been traumatized in her past. I said, when was she traumatized, brother? He said when she was nine years old. I said, well, how old is she now? He said 40. So I said, so explain the trauma to me. He said, well, we just got married. He said, I reach over to touch the wife on the shoulder. We laying in bed. She jumps all hysterical. Like, What's wrong, baby? She said, oh, I just had a flashback that you was that dude that molested me when I was. See, that's what I'm talking. Read that, read that again. You crazy sisters. Brethren. I'll I, tell him to give him a break, but I just have to, I gotta get him. Go ahead. I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. So we got to do that. All of us. Now, I always tell the sisters. Some of these brothers in Israel, I'm not going to point nobody out, have been molested as well. But you don't never hear about it. You, got, you know you got your nasty aunts, nasty uncles. Some of these brothers have been traumatized, but they don't talk about it. It's the, oh, I just want to talk about it. Can I lay on the white man's couch? F your couch. The hell is this? The hell is this? We got to let all that foolishness go, things that happened to us in the past. All right, I'm, a, I'm getting off of that. I'm going to leave that alone. Now I'm going to talk about you men. Talk about the men. Uh, some of you men come in this truth, and you are, some of you. Give me that in 1 Corinthians 6. Some brothers come in the truth, and they are meow, meow. Yellow makes me sad. And uh, it's, it, I see some of y'all, no, brothers, uh, I see I'm going back to the sisters for a second. We were talking. Some of the sisters, today's the Sabbath day. You're supposed to be rejoicing. You see some of their faces, they depressed, like they lost their cat, their dog, their mama. Something wrong with some of them. I see it on their face. What is wrong with that sister? Like she just lost everything. Wow. Sisters, if y'all lost everything, y'all can talk to us. Let us know what happened. Let us know. Verse 9? Uh, yeah, read that verse 9. This is for the brothers. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So any of us holding on to any of those attributes will not inherit the kingdom of God. That goes, for male, that goes for male and or female. Now go to 2nd Ezra chapter 14. 
and give me verse 14. Second Ezra 14, 14. Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Let go from the mortal thoughts. I mean, the thoughts that are troublesome to man. Go ahead. Cast away the burdens of man. And the burdens of man really goes into sin. The sins, the things we just read about in 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Go ahead. Put off now the weak nature. That's what I wanted to get to. Put off now the weak nature. Put off now the weak nature. Hey, somebody, Rick, somebody, one of you brothers, help me out here. Name some of the greatest uh, revolutionaries of the past century. Within the past century. Okay, past hundred years. I said the same thing. <laughs> Brothers were like, past century? What was he talking? What's a century? Shalom, bitch. Uh, Baruch. Shalom. What's name's, your name? My name is Baruch. Baruch. Marcus Garvey. Okay, Marcus Garvey. Go ahead. Anybody else? Get a brother next to you. Shalom, um, Brother Ariel. Um, uh, Malcolm X. Malcolm X. Okay, give me another one. Uh, I'll see on the side. Uh, shalom. Uh, Sojourn the Truth. Sojourn the Truth. What's your name? I didn't even catch your name. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Brother Yeramya. Yeramya. Uh, okay. G give me another one. Give me the brother with the glass. Yeah. And then when you finish, the brother behind him. Good. Shalom, Brother Shemariah. Shemariah. Marcus Garvey. So that was said already. <laughs> Sit down. You ain't even listening. Man, you messed up again. Where are you from? Of uh, Africa. Africa. You... I'm just trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Shalom, Bishop. I'm Brother Shalom. Danielle. Brother Danielle? Yes. Huey P. Newton. Okay, Huey P. Newton. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll give you that one. You know he just recently died, right? Huh? He died before. He died a while ago. You said recently, the well, 80s. I, mean, that, I knew he died. But how did he die? Mm, go ahead. What you got? Shalom. I'm Brother Jotham. Brother Jotham. Yeah. Um, Nat Thurner. <laughs> um, Mar Martin Luther King. Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, okay. Sure. You're right now. I know I said the past century. I'm like, Nat Turner. Wow. And I made it plain. I said 100 years. Shalom, Bishop. Brother Shalom. Ahil. Uh, Fred Hampton. Fred Hampton. Okay, now, he, uh, Fred Hampton was all right there. Okay, so pretty much uh, uh, Huey P. Newton, Fred Hampton. I'm going to move them because they were great. I'd say they were great organizers. They were good organizers. No, Fred Hampton, he was a good orator. Fred Hampton was a great organizer. Uh, Fred Hampton was a good orator, and Huey P. Newton was a great organizer. That's what I wanted to say. Now, Marcus Garvey, Sojourn the Truth. What, Sojourn the Truth? That's another one. That was way back. I didn't catch that one. Dag. Who said Sojourn the Truth? I'm only giving you a pass because it slipped by me. Wow. All right, all right. What is one thing that the vast majority of these great black revolutionaries had in common? What is one thing they, that most of them had in common? Uh, 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 right here, I didn't hear this brother yet. You, you stood up already? All right, pick somebody. Let's pick, give somebody a mic. Anybody, I don't care. Shalom. Uh, they they had um, discipline and they were in order. Uh, somebody else. Discipline. No. Get pick somebody. Brother Samuel. Um, they were revolutionary. Yeah, we established that already. Thank you, Samuel. <laughs> pick somebody. What was their foundation? What did they? I don't want to give it away. Go ahead, speak. Uh, Shalom, uh, brother Nicodemus. Uh, they were all killed by the opposition. That's one thing they have in common, but they all were trying to uplift the people uh, due to their own understanding. 
Mm, they weren't okay. really using the scriptures. Uh, I, well, uh, some people might argue that, for example, Marcus Garvey was exiled to Jamaica. He went to Europe, and they say he died of a heart attack. Now, he may have been assassinated. That's why I tend to lean towards, because I thought it was ironic. But the books say he died of a heart attack. Uh, and Hugh P. Newton, y'all know how he died. Some of y'all got the same problem up in here. Can I say crack on the mic? Crack, 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 crack. Go ahead, give me somebody. Pick somebody. Oh, go ahead. They thought for the rest of their people instead of thinking for themselves. They thought for the rest of people. Okay, what was it? Keep standing, Jonah. What was the vast majority of their, what was their foundation? The struggle, what the they struggle. were going through. It's something they all, I just got to say it because y'all not going to get it. Wait, somebody got their hand up. Somebody got their hand up in the back. Give it, pick somebody. I, I, after this, if you don't get it, I'm just going to say it. Shalom, Deacon. They was all. That's uh, Deacon right there. Oh, that's sorry, Deacon there, sorry. and that's Deacon right there. Sorry, Elder. Sorry, Elder. Brother Adrio, they was all. This is New York. For right? Where we at? Is he new? He just got in here through the door? Oh, he's new. Okay. Go ahead. What's your name, boy? They was all fighting against racism. Okay, I'm just going to give it to you. One thing that, they, that the vast majority of them, listen to my words, the vast majority of them had in common is that they used the Bible as a motivating factor to rally and mobilize the people. I know Marcus Garvey, some of you might be shocked, but yes, him too. Marcus Garvey, one of the greatest organizers of all time, used the Bible. Many of y'all know Malcolm X did. He didn't read out of the Quran. Malcolm didn't read out of the Quran. He quoted and paraphrased the Bible, just like King did. Okay, Sojourner Truth was Sojourner Truth. I went back to that one again. But since you brought it up, her too was what? Well. Somebody mentioned that Turner. Him too. It's always been the, the Bible as a foundation for our people. And the greatest revolutionary of all time is Jesus Christ. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.